Hey guys, today I want to talk about a running back that I don't think gets talked about nearly enough. This is because he opted out for the 2020 season. That running back's name is Kenneth Gainwell and he plays running back for the Kentucky Wildcats. Kenneth Gainwell is an exceptional talent who opted out for the 2020 season due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Kenneth Gainwell had an outstanding 2019 season for the Kentucky Wildcats. He's a versatile player who needs to be accounted for both as a runner and a receiver. He's a dynamic three-down player who demonstrated exceptional speed, agility, elusiveness, and vision. He is a very smooth runner with the ball in his hands, and he is a reliable pass catcher who runs good routes. His deficiencies are what you would come to expect from a 5'11", 191-pound running back. With a smaller frame, durability will be a question at the next level along with can he handle a full workload, or is he more of a 1A, 1B, and a committee type back. In addition, there are concerns I have with his ability in pass protection. He provides good chip blocks, but nothing more. Considering his pros and cons, what works in his favor is that he's not the type of running back that needs 25 plus touches to do what he does best. He's a big play threat, he's a versatile weapon who does a lot for an offense. If he can add 10 pounds of functional strength as well as work on his pass protection, he could be an elite level weapon at the next level. So now I want to start digging into the tape. The first trait of Kenneth Gainwell's that I want to show you is arguably his best. He has top shelf level vision and feel for the position. On this first play we're looking at, we're going to have an outside zone to the left. The center and the left tackle are going to be working their way to the second level defenders on this play. Kenneth Gainwell is going to be expected to navigate to the left, find open daylight, and burst to and through the hole. Unfortunately for Kenneth Gainwell, his offensive line doesn't hold up. Fortunately, however, he has the vision to find an open cutback lane and reverse his field. And as you can see, when he finds that lane, he uses it. He turns what could have been a loss on the play into a 15 plus yard gain. On the next play, we have a one-back power with a pulling backside guard. Gainwell's going to follow the pulling guard and have the vision to see the second-level defenders overran the football. He then cuts back to center field to the vacated zone before stopping on a dime and spinning out of a tackle before picking up an additional 10 yards on the run. On this play, Kenneth Gainwell displayed excellent vision, balance, and short area quickness. Alright, now moving on, we're going to have man-on-man -man blocking here, but what I really want you to pay attention to is in this look, we have a one high safety. You can see him, I have the arrow pointed, singling him out at the top of the screen. Now, I want you to see what he does here. Kenneth Gainwell is going to get the ball and press the left side of the line of scrimmage, bringing that safety up to the hole. The safety steps up, Gainwell cuts back, bursts up field, him pressing the left side of the line of scrimmage caused the safety to step up in a position where he does not have the angle to tackle Gainwell before the end zone. So not only does Kenneth Gainwell have exceptional vision, but he has the ability to use his eyes and press the line of scrimmage to manipulate second level defenders to create bigger plays for himself. Moving on, I want to talk about arguably Kenneth Gainwell's best ability. That is what he brings to the receiving game. He has reliable hands and runs great routes from out of the backfield or lined up as a wideout. On this play, he's going to cross the quarterback's face and run a route to the flat at the top of the screen. He's going to make a natural hand sketch and then turn up field where he will become a runner. He lowers his shoulder and demonstrates exceptional contact balance and he picks up a first down. Here, he is going to fake a flat route before rerouting himself back to center field. This is called an angle route. He runs it well and he gets the linebacker to open his hips to the nearest sideline before putting his foot in the dirt and making a hard left cut. This created 2 plus yards of separation from the defender allowing Gainwell to pick up a 30 plus yard gain. These are two examples of what he's able to do as a pass catcher out of the backfield. The final route I want to show you out of the backfield is the wheel route. On this play, he isn't picked up out of the backfield. When he realizes he wasn't picked up, he snaps his head around to make himself available for his quarterback. He then makes a nice hands catch without breaking stride and outruns the safety's angle, scoring a touchdown. As a route runner, he's able to do much more than just operate out of the backfield, however. On this play, he's lined up at the top of your screen as a wide receiver, and he's going to run an out route, and he's going to nearly pick up another first down. Here he's lined up as an inside slot receiver, and he's going to run an in route. On this play, he's going to press the corner before dropping his hips and getting into his break. He creates just enough separation to make an uncontested catch and turn up field. At this point, he allows his athleticism and elusiveness to take over, where he turns a 3-yard gain into a 13-yard gain. On this play, Gainwell is the inside receiver again. Once again, he's matched up with a linebacker. Here he's running a corner route. In this matchup, Gainwell once again shows that he is simply too fast to be covered by a linebacker. He's going to accelerate past the linebacker and through his break. The quarterback's going to give him a good ball, and Gainwell does an excellent job of showing his hands at the last second. He makes the catch through contact and picks up a gain of nearly 30 yards. Here, Gainwell is lined up as an outside receiver where he's matched up with a corner. He's going to run a go route. 
He's going to be even with the corner downfield, and his quarterback's going to throw him a back shoulder ball along the far sideline. Gainwell's going to show great body control and reach back and make a great catch outside of his frame. This is an outstanding play for anyone, let alone a running back 20 yards downfield. This further demonstrates the versatility and high-level talent that Kenneth Gainwell possesses. This next play is a similar concept. Gainwell's going to motion to the near sideline from the backfield. He's going to take a linebacker with him on this play. On the snap, Gainwell once again is going to prove to be a mismatch for most linebackers as he bursts past the defender before adjusting to a throw at his back shoulder. He's going to turn back upfield and score a touchdown. Once again, Gainwell shows to be a great route runner and have excellent body control. He offers great hands, great body control, exceptional route running, and he capitalizes on yards after the catch opportunity. Bottom line, Kenneth Gainwell is a threat as a receiver and needs to be accounted for. Moving on to concerns, there are a few that I have with his game. First, people are concerned with him being 5'11 and 191 pounds. While these are valid concerns due to his frame, he doesn't play to that size and he operates well enough in short yards and goal line situations that I feel this issue is not going to be a major concern moving forward. Additionally, he hasn't had an injury problem, so I feel this shouldn't be a concern either, though his size does leave the door open for these issues to be bothersome in the future. The second issue I have is in his pass protection. There are instances where he provides good chip blocks like the play here. Now this isn't the best block, but it gets the job done and it gets the defender on the ground. The best block that I could find in his tape was the block on 2021 first round draft hopeful Micah Parsons. Gainwell's going to lower his shoulder and deliver a good blow to Michael Parsons' chest, which is going to send him to the turf. For Kenneth Gainwell to take the next step as a pass protector, we're going to need more plays like this and less plays like the next few that I'm going to show you. On this first play, Kenneth Gainwell's going to fail to recognize the free blitzer or pick him up. And on the second play, he's going to lower his head so he doesn't see the target he's actually striking on and he's going to whiff on the block. Everything considered, Kenneth Gainwell is a great prospect who's forgotten about due to opting out of the 2020 season. He offers great vision, speed, elusiveness, and operates at a high level as a pass catcher. He can improve in pass protection, and he can also add about 10 pounds of functional strength, and I don't think that would hurt him in his transition to the next level. If he can get himself to 5'11", 200 pounds, and improve as a pass protector, I honestly can't find many holes in his game to criticize. He's a great versatile weapon for an offense and will be a steal in the 2021 NFL Draft. At the next level, I see him being a very similar player to Austin Eckler of the LA Chargers. Who does Kenneth Gainwell remind you of? Let me know in the comments. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content. But until then, we'll see you next time.